Hello everyone. In this talk, we will present a new open source tool that was developed in Signia, which allows you to identify a new attack path that can be leveraged by threat actors to compromise hybrid and cross-platform environments in the cloud. For those of you who don't know Signia, you are a cyber consulting and incident response company. Oleg and I are based in Tel Aviv, and before the COVID-19, we traveled most of the time around the world and work with companies to build their resilience and to respond to attacks within the networks. Obviously, a lot of our effort in the last couple of years was in supporting companies migrating to the cloud and investigate breaches within cloud environments. In the past six months, we developed cap capabilities which we leverage to significantly enhance our client security posture. And what I want to do today is to share one of those with you. My name is Ilya Rabinovich. I'm the Adversarial Tactics Team Leader in Signia, and together with me is Oleg Lerner, who led the research and development of the tool. And we also would like to mention Duran Vazgel that assisted in the development process. We'll start with a few words about threat landscape, what Cloud Scout is, and suggesting what are the next steps for our tool. So while in the past, we believe most of the attention was focused on the on-premise environments and the major cloud providers. During the last two years, we are witnessing a shift to a new approach called hybrid cloud. You are probably familiar with the accelerated transition to cloud services and the adoption of cloud hybrid architectures. So this is a place where new trends and by extension, new attack techniques are emerging. So let's talk about some of the trends that we identified. First, many companies utilize multiple cloud vendors and have many connections established between their applications and services. In addition, while in the past, CI-CD pipelines were a separate technical procedure, now this area is brought into the cloud and allows building, testing, and deploying the code in a one single place. And lastly, new native cloud services and microservices replace other traditional IT and introduce new security challenges that can be exploited with relative ease. Threat actors realized that adopting cloud trends and migrating the traditional infrastructure to another workspace are creating opportunities that they can leverage. Those opportunities pose significant challenge to security teams both to prevent and detect their activities. As a result, there are three main areas that threat actors focus more and more on. We see that C2 workloads move to the cloud and malicious cloud applications are spun up on cloud and hybrid infrastructure. In addition, threat actors leverage the expanding attack surface on the cloud to pivot into internal networks or other cloud environments. And threat actors focus their efforts on the creation of dedicated malware for cloud platforms. Look, there is a lot invested by security teams to adopt security of their cloud services to the threats and stay ahead of the curve in the competition with threat actors. What you see on the screen are just few examples on what it takes. We don't really have time to get into each of those but using secure infrastructure for administration and hardening programmatic channels are just a few examples of what the challenges that we have in that area. Moreover, to enable those, what is clear is that the key gap is to establish visibility into our increasingly complex cloud environments. Oleg will take it from here and present the tool and its capabilities. Hello everyone and thank you, Ilya. So we talked about the increasing use of cloud environments, solutions and trends which are extending the corporate boundaries. Corporate environments are now more and more intertwined with cloud infrastructure and more organizations are transitioning to what we call a hybrid environment. While adapting hybrid environments, we unintentionally adapting their new misconfigurations, gaps and vulnerabilities which in turn may expose our entire infrastructure to security risks that could lead to full organizational compromise. 
Identifying gaps and misconfigurations manually is really, really hard work and very complicated. Thankfully, the community providing us with open source tools in order to make those challenges a bit easier. The tools displayed on this slide are widely used by security teams for enumeration and visualization of attack paths, leveraging gaps in different environments. On the left, we have Storm Spotter, developed by Microsoft and used to enumerate and identify gaps in Azure environments. On the right, we have AWS PX, developed by F Secure Labs and widely used for AWS environments. And of course, we have Bloodhound developed by Spectre Ops, and I bet you're all familiar with, and primarily the, uh, used for enumerating our on-premises environments. Currently, each one of the tools provide data collection for a single type of environment, represented by data illustration below each tool, either Azure, AWS, or on-premises domain. Each framework is executed under separate databases, and we don't have the ability to create relations between them, even though we know they do exist. In our assessment, we see many business processes that are cross-platform and hosted on multiple cloud providers, interconnected to each other, and of course, to the on-premise infrastructure. So in order to fully map or visualize the hybrid attack surface, we need to manually consolidate the information collected by each one of these tools. I think we can all agree that it's not an optimal solution. So we would like to introduce Cloud Scout, a tool that significantly assists you with the challenges we presented so far by providing three unique capabilities. One, connect cross-platform entities such as users, applications, roles, and services based on their corresponding attributes. The second one, identify cross-platform attack paths that allows attackers to move laterally and escalate privileges. And finally, visualize the cross-platform attack path on one single screen. Those three tools are all based on a Neo4j graph database. Therefore, we decided to expand those tools functionality by merging them under one database, just as with real life hybrid environments where all organizational infrastructure is interconnected. After we collected all relevant information from cloud and on-prem environments and, uplo and uploaded it into one single database, we need to find a way to create relations between different node types, which are actually linked one to another in the real world, but we cannot see or visualize them using each tool individually. For example, we have users in our on-premise Active Directory, which are synced to our Azure Active Directory, and therefore we can create a relation between a StormSporter user to a Bloodhound user based on their user security identifier. So beyond the trivial relations, the one we just mentioned, we enriched the data of different nodes and created more complex relations that will show us complex and non-trivial attack paths, which we couldn't see in the past. We will dive right now to more detail with the following demonstration. So here you can see Bloodhound application without Cloud Scout plugin installed, the basic Bloodhound installation you can download from GitHub. To install Cloud Scout, all you have to do is to download the plugin from our GitHub page and execute a batch installation script as demonstrated in the video. After the installation will be completed, we'll open Bloodhound with our Cloud Scout plugin installed. And you will see that we have a few additional buttons to handle the ingestion of different frameworks and executing the logic to create 